General hospitals follow for Thursday, November 16, Bridget Austin Gatlin Hall continues to be threatened by Austin boss Sarah Sminard. Sarah's kid and trust, all of Sarah's henchmen, was a choose because they all betray Sarah's. Austin is one of them and Sarah's will soon make some move to prove all the threats come true. If it's around Maxi John or Maxi Danter would be the one Sarah's target. Of course, Austin will stop Sarah's immediately. Austin agreed not to open his mouth or say anything unfavorable regarding Sarah's. Sarah's is satisfied with that for now, but Sarah's will still be wary, and Mason Gutlins will be the person Sarah's would pay research to next. Of course, Mason will also receive similar threat, but Sarah's would directly threaten Mason's life. Because Mason doesn't have any relative intel, the Mason and Austin cousin relationship is not good. Meanwhile, Scott Baldwin argued that Scott would do a good job and that deception would perform as well as it had in the past. Lucy Co believes in it. However, Lucy is soon disappointed and deception is once again on the brink of bankruptcy. Lucy is no longer the one who decides everything related to the deception anymore. Only one percent of the share belong to the Quarterman family, and they have the right to decide on all important matter related to deception. Elsewhere, Andrea Gaze encounters some important problem that directly affect the baby and Andrea womb. He just for received the news and is extremely worried. He will make an emergency call to Molly Lance and Davis, causing Molly to panic. Molly wants to know exactly what's going on. TJ refuses to go into details and suggests that Molly go see TJ immediately. Of course, Molly fears the baby might not be able to keep her anymore. Christina Corinto Davis goes with Molly to see TJ. During that time, Christina would reassure Molly and hope that what they were thinking was just imagination. But in reality, it's true that Andrea may be forced to have the baby removed due to some problem, and TJ and Molly have to make that hard breaking decision. Speaking of trouble, Robert Scorpio is also the one causing suffering for Dan Miller. Robert is not decisive in love, and always kept Diane waiting in doubt. Alyssa Davis also only knows part of the story, but Diane will argue that Alyssa is discovering something up for Robert. So Diane and Alyssa's conversation will soon become tense. Marsha Robinson may have to make the decision for the to the fire Hamilton Finn, which is a difficult decision. But if Finn is reincarnated, it will directly affect the hospital because the patient's family has sued Finn. Finn was a bit negligent, and that directly affected the patient health condition. Complication have arisen. That make it likely that the patient will not survive. Curtis asks for we hear Portia's entire story, but Curtis also cannot give accurate advice. Afterward, Marsha Asford also had a conversation with Curtis. They would talk about something related to their family, and they were also worried after receiving news from TJ. Happen day, Helpland. Continue to want to hinder Sasha you more and Sasha knew it. Of course, Sasha then made threat that made a few others worry. Then Sasha received a big surprise involving Cody Bell. Max invited Cody to work with Sasha, and they would be the model couple of deception. Of course, Cody enjoyed his new job. Cody joined Sasha for the presentation, and then they have a reason to celebrate.